friends welcome back to my channel I came on here to rave about my friends <laughs> so um, I'm on a trip I got in last night late last night we're having a little mini girls trip well it's a staycation for them because they live here in Florida but it's a trip for me because I don't live in Florida so I actually got on a got on a flight um, but we're having a little staycation girls trip my plane landed around minutes to 12 and um, Elle and Deja two of my best friends who live here in Florida they came to pick me up from the airport and mind you I'm exhausted I'm exhausted because I didn't sleep the day before I was crazy busy the whole week getting this wholesale order done and it was like the most stressful week <laughs> leading up to me landing last night it was just draining and stressful and I was on E okay my body hurt my head my neck my back my feet everything was throbbing like I was just exhausted they picked me up from the airport she lives about 40 minutes from the airport or so and probably not 40 minutes probably more and um so we got to the house and I'm so tired now thinking back like I'm so tired that I'm not questioning anything okay we got out the car took my luggage out and we were coming around to go through the front door now usually when I come by my best friend's house we don't go through the front door we always go through the garage even if she parks outside of the garage she's gonna open the garage and we're gonna walk through the garage but me being so tired, I didn't question anything. I just went, I just followed them going around to the front door. Uh, we get to the front door, there's a wood slave. So now it's a whole thing to move, get the wood safe to move so that it doesn't run in the house. So after a few minutes, we finally open the front door and we're going in. So I'm pulling my big ass luggage into the front door. And when I look up, let me show y'all because I can't just talk about it. I gotta show y'all because I was so shocked. I was so surprised and I, I just felt so loved. So let me show y'all what I walked into. Turn my camera. So when I looked up, I saw this. All these balloons with pictures, just memories, beautiful memories. And this is recent. This was like 2017, I believe all these memories this was 20 either late 2016 or early 2017 this was like 2012 i don't even remember that's my baby that's my another baby this was my baby shower when i was pregnant with saya This was college days. I look at me. <laughs> oh gosh, I don't know why I thought that great eyeshadow was cute. We did the most in college, but we had fun. College days was a good time. Look at me, Ayo. That was a whole different person. I think this was 2017. Um, this was probably 2017 too. That was more recent. That was 2023. And this was college days. This was freshman year of college. Look at us. Y'all, I was just so shocked. So I'm crying and I'm like taking forever to even walk past this point. And L gain annoyed with me because I'm like, I'm like, I'm so tired, but this is so pretty. And I'm crying and I'm being on dramatic. Look at my little bunko man. And then I get to this point and I look here and I'm like, <gasps> I was so shocked. <laughs> I'm going to try to insert the clip of my reaction video because Deja was recording me. But I saw this and I was like, Oh my gosh, this is so beautiful. And I just covered my face and cried. Y'all, 
they love me they celebrated my birthday my birthday was two weeks ago two weeks ago and they still found it in them to celebrate me when i come up like this this is a girl strip it's supposed to be about all of us but they they found time and put effort into celebrating me because i wasn't here for my birthday or we wasn't in the same space for my birthday and this was such a beautiful surprise look how beautiful this is with my little favorite colors or well, they incorporated a theme of my favorite colors and i just love it so much and every time i come out here i just get so like my heart is so full like i don't even have the words to explain to y'all how just how loved i feel like i feel so excuse the lip gloss right i lost my lip balm on the airplane and my lips were dry and i was like i'm gonna just gap on a little bit of lip gloss but now my face ashy and my lips are glossy it just looks crazy but anyways i just had to come on here and make a video about this to capture this memory because like okay so here's the other part to this so they did all of this candle they know i don't drink so i don't know if this is actually wine or sparkling apple cider i don't know what it is it's sparkling cider listen my friends know me so good they know me so good like i love them so much yeah so one of the things that they had by the display by the balloon display is this book right so let me tell y'all the story about, about this book so a day deja posted a page from this book on her story and pretty much the book has a affirmation or it's a daily devotion book so each day for each day of the year there's a, a um, devotion that you read to yourself right and she posted a picture of the day she was on and i was like what book is that and she was like it's my daily devotion book and i was like oh that's so cool so there's a thing for every day that's nice and um i can't believe if she i can't remember if she asked me if i wanted one or if i told her that i want to get one i can't remember but she remembered that and she went and got me the book and i because i pay attention to details okay i opened the book and have the bookmark on the day that we're on june 6th that little small details that i pay attention to that i think is so thoughtful and so amazing and um when i opened the book and i said oh my gosh and you have the book bookmark on the day that it is and she was like you see i told you i was <laughs> she looked at ellen she was like you see i told you she would notice <laughs> it's the details and she knows like my friend like this this is an intentional gift this is an intentional gift people think that you gotta spend crazy amount of money to make people feel feel special or show them that you love them or care for them and you don't you just have to be intentional you just have to listen pay attention take mental notes so that when that time comes you can give them something that's going to be so meaningful for them and she always if it's one thing i love 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 about deja she's a very intentional gift giver like it's just the small things like <sighs> y'all like so i'm here and i was reading my daily devotion for june 6th let me show y'all and it's so fitting it's so fitting for like what i've been going through these past couple weeks with just realizations that i've come to for myself and i was reading it and i just started crying because I, oh my gosh my it's not sad tears it's is is literally happy tears because this is what i've been pretty much coming to a realization of is just like not just saying not just saying that i love myself not just saying that I deserve better or I'm I'm worth it or whatever the case may be. Not just saying it, but actually believing it and doing the things that show that I know that this is true. You know? 
not allowing myself to allow others to treat me any less than I deserve or deprive me of love and abundance and all of the things that I want and need. And I was just crying because just recently I had to pretty much detach myself from someone who just wasn't acknowledging that, wasn't seeing my worth and my value and giving me or even doing the best to show me that I'm worth it, that um, I deserve intentional, pure, and agape love, pretty much. And um, I held myself account accountable in that in that situation because I was like, I'm the one that allowed it. I allowed it to go on this long. I allowed it, and um, just reading that, seeing that I now. I am now willing to forgive myself for believing I am not worthy of love. And it's not even that. And at one point, yes, you know, we say that we're worth this and we're worth that, but then we don't show it or prove it to ourselves. So yeah, we didn't believe it. We said it, but we didn't believe it. And saying that devotion out loud, just it hit home for me, you know? But anyways, I don't want this to be a long video because I'm not trying to edit and do much. I just want to really upload it. But I just want to say that. Thank you, Deja. Thank you, Ellery. From the bottom, the deep depths of my soul. Like, y'all don't know how much this filled me up. I came in on E, drained, overwhelmed, exhausted. And walking into that gave me everything I didn't know I needed. Like... My heart is truly full and I love and appreciate y'all so much. I'm not going to cry again, but I love and appreciate y'all so much because there's not many people in my life that go out their way for me in terms of surprising me or celebrating me, especially for my birthday. I always pretty much spend my birthday alone, just trying to pour into myself. And um, y'all are literally the only people that ever go above and beyond for me for my birthday and I appreciate y'all so much in fact one of those pictures is from the year that Elle and Kyra came to Florida when I used to live in Florida to surprise me and I think it was shortly after my birthday they came there to surprise me I remember coming out of the shower and I saw Elle sitting in my living room and I almost dropped my towel because I was so shocked but they always it's the little things it's really the little things y'all don't even know you don't have to spend a fortune to make someone feel special it's the little things anyways i just wanted to say that i love y'all i appreciate y'all and y'all did that y'all definitely got me y'all got me good <laughs> And they were definitely tears of joy. I was tired, but they were tears of joy. Like, y'all don't even know how much this filled me up. My words can't even express it. And I'm excited for all of the great memory memories we're about to make on this trip. And enjoying each other's company. And just pouring into each other and loving each other. And y'all, it is so important to have a sister circle, a sisterhood. Like, I don't know what I would do without my friends. Like, y'all don't even know. Like, my circle is really small, but I take quality over that, over quantity any day. And my friend circle is quality. So, yes, that's all that I came on here to say. Um... It's going to be an amazing week, I'm calling it. I don't know how much of it I'm going to film or not film. But if I do capture some moments to make a video out of it, I'll do that. But if not, I'm about to enjoy my girl's trip, y'all. Okay? Anyways, to all of our melanated women, protect your womb by any means necessary. And to everyone watching, protect your peace by any means necessary. I wish you all love, light, and prosperity, and you'll see me in my next video. Peace. Oh my goodness, that's <laughs>
Hillary, I need you to get the disgust off your face. You're so irritated. <laughs> Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> I got it. See, you said you wasn't going to get it. I got it. <laughs> Here is done. Sit on the throne, queen. No, you got that goddess energy. It's in your soul, queen. Manifesting your reality.